Hello, welcome back. Last time we talked about the bit byte hexadecimal. Those are the binary、uh, representation format inside the computer system. Very, very important, but、mm, a little bit hard. <laughs> shall we? Shall we go deeper? Okay, go deeper to explore it. <coughs> yeah, the best way is to use.、Uh, I think that、uh, any kind of tool you can have to explore it. Okay, and we are going to use a Python.、Uh, just type type Python in your interactive environment.、Uh, use the help to have a look those three things: the、uh, bin, binary, integer. So first, have a look at the integer. Okay, integer is the building that can convert. Uh, 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 A、string into the decimal.、Uh, actually, we call it integer 整数 Okay, and actually they have a, a advanced feature to convert the different base the system. Okay, and so have a look at the、uh, convert a number string into an integer.、Uh, if it returns zero, if no argument are given. Okay, so basically that's a、uh, integer.、Uh, You can also so if I do this integer,、uh, I can give a, a floating number. Okay. Okay. You can see they kind of truncate the、uh, the decimal part, right? Okay. So that become the integer. Okay. And Uh, let's do another、uh, bin. Bin、uh, means a、uh, binary, not a trash bin. Okay, <laughs> it means a binary. Okay, so、uh, he said、uh, return the binary representation of an integer. Oh, representation of the integer. So here's an example. They give a、uh, integer number. Okay, quite large. They return the binary format, but they have a single quote、uh, in the boundary, which means that it's a string format.、Uh, just in case you don't know the string,、uh, we haven't talked about it yet. But、uh, basically, it's a kind of text,、uh, sequence of a character. Okay, so、uh, Python have this feature to convert the number,、uh, it's a data type, into a String, but a string in a, a for human being to read、uh, in the binary, written in the binary. One thing I want you to have uh, uh, pay attention to is the this string、uh, begin with zero b. Okay, okay. This is the thing that I want you to know.、Uh, if you、uh, whenever you see zero、uh, B、uh, in front of some number,、uh, let's indicate that you are this number is the binary. Okay. So、uh, I can actually type zero、uh, B and and do some interesting exploration. Okay. For example, what is a zero B? Zero 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 one. Oh, one zero. Okay. If you look at the binary system, no,、oh, that will be two. All about this three. Yeah, because in our previous <coughs> in our previous talk, right, we talk about binary system, right?、Uh, begin with a zero, one. And then, if you keep adding one, no, one number,、uh, you get a carry bit. Okay, and that will become the one zero and one one. So one one is three, right? And if you adding one, you get a one zero zero. That become four. <coughs> so let's check those possibilities. So zero、uh, zero. Oh, let's just assume we have a four bit. Let's zero, right? And we do this 
That's one. Okay. By adding one, by adding one, okay, we become we become two. And so let's assume we don't know. Uh, um, okay, that's two, right? And three. What is three? What is three? Oh, by adding one, right? That's three. Wow. What's a four? <coughs> By adding one, right? So that will become one zero zero, right? So what's a five and six, seven? Ooh, seven, right? A, a, a will be this, right? And nine. Ten, right? Eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. Actually, is the uh, a plus four. So you can you can kind of uh, switch this location as a uh, which indicate as a four. This bit if it's on. Which indicate a, so a plus four uh, equals twelve. Okay, thirteen. Hmm. That's a a plus four plus one. Yeah, and uh, fourteen a plus four plus two. Right, that would be this. And fifteen uh, a plus four plus two plus one. Yeah, here we go. So uh, we have the four bit binary uh, that we call a uh, half byte, right? Uh, there's another, also another name called a nibble, right? But we just assume that that's a four bit. If we keep adding one, keep adding one, you may find you cannot uh, uh, cap it uh, by using the four bit because that's uh, all the capacity, you know, the maximum volume that you can keep those data, right? So if you if you uh, want to represent uh, uh, one more number, that will be the sixteen, right? You need one more bit, right? Okay. So that's a binary. So uh, here is just let you know that you can use the zero B uh, to begin with the number uh, to do some calculation. Uh, for example, you can do this. Uh, uh, let's assume that you already know this. Uh, it's a uh, uh, sixteen. What about this, this number minus uh, this number? Uh, for example. Mm. One 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 one. Okay, your internal computer, that's your brain, <laughs> who, uh, will do the calculation, right? Maybe you convert it into the decimal number system. So that will be the sixteen uh, subtract uh, or minus fifteen. Okay, so what's the result? The result will be whatever you want, right? Okay. So that's a binary system. Okay, you can mm, uh, plus one. Uh, by default, uh, the uh, Python is such a high-level friendly, friendly uh, programming environment to explore. They assume that you. You understand uh, decimal, that's a base 10 number system, uh, better than the binary. So they will always return you to you uh, the decimal. Uh, so if you want to uh, represent another form, uh, you need to know this uh, function. Uh, for example, hex. Uh, that can re return your integer into the hexadecimal. Okay, 
So uh, let's uh, let's assume that you we know this mm. we know this already, right? Now uh, this is a sixteen, right? Okay, our previous uh, sixteen. So what about we apply this number? Wow. See, they return the value, the value uh, with with the type of what? This is the type of string, okay? Not a not an integer anymore for human to read, and uh, start with the zero x. What does this mean? Oh, he's he's telling us that this is a hexadecimal number system, okay? Okay, uh, because the zero b is the binary, zero x will be the hexadecimal. Okay, this is good to know, right? So let's explore some hexadecimal. So zero x. Uh, what about? Uh, let's try uh, uh, one zero. Yeah, no brain, right? <laughs> because uh, I just got the uh, this. 16 is uh, 0x10, right? What about this? <coughs> Your mental computer, uh, internal computer will say, oh, let's uh, just plus one, right? Let's uh, uh, 17. <coughs> yeah, that's easy, right? <coughs> but the unique part of the hexadecimal number system is that uh, they use the uh, a, B, C, D to represent, A, B, C, D, E, F to represent the digit, uh, the number beyond uh, beyond 9, right? Uh, let's just recap. Uh, we use A to represent 10, B, 11, 12, C, 13, D, okay? 14, E, and F will be 15, right? Where's the G? No, no, no G, because uh, if you, uh, add by adding one, you'll be carried to the next beat, right? You'll generate a carry bit, okay? So there's no G in hexadecimal system, okay? So let's check, okay, if that's true, okay? So I'm going to use, uh, uh, um, zero, uh, nine. zero 9 9 uh, still 9 but 0 a okay well, I use a small letter uh, what about capital A yeah it doesn't matter right they can use a small a so a means 10 what about B Okay, so you can do such thing. Uh, for example, um, a <laughs> minus b. What's that? Wow, that's a minus one because uh, uh, b is larger than a, right? So let's do uh, c, d, e. F, okay, let's pretend we don't know uh, the, the computer basic concept. We just type the G, we got <laughs> error, right? So don't pa panic, it's called uh, invalid hexadecimal literal, okay? Uh, computer cannot recognize what are you talking about? <laughs> no G, right? So be aware, uh, only have F. So F is 15. So what about EF? Oh, now you run the um, internal hexadecimal calculator inside your brain. Okay, this digit will be the 16. So 16 plus the uh, 15 will be 31. Yeah, okay. What about this? Okay, so you can 
you can do the uh, brain training, right? Uh, okay. Train your brain. Okay. So let's try FF. Hmm. I've been in this field for many, 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 many years. So I know that's a 255. <laughs> that's a 200. Because that's equivalent to, uh, we know the F is a 15. That's equivalent to, <laughs> right? Because uh, this four bit represent F, this another four bit represent F, right? So that's the same. So you can um, do this such of things, right? Um, this two weird number kind of uh, fight each other, they got a zero, okay? So that's a hexadecimal representation and binary representation. Uh, so let's... Uh, 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 so you can you can try on your own. It's very very interesting, right? Very interesting using Python to consolidate to strengthen your understanding of the computer system. But you need to a little bit help. You need to use a zero B to represent the binary. Okay, if it's a number, you don't need a, a string. Uh, later on, we talk about a string, but it's a converted as a string. Uh, I need to uh, deal with a little bit differently. For example, uh, help integer. Um, uh, from here, uh, you can give a give a uh, uh, here's an example. They use uh, uh, they said uh, you can use a base uh, from zero to and the two to 36, nobody use that, right? The base zero means uh, interpret the base from the string as an integer literal. So uh, if you use this, you don't, uh, they will, this part is pretty important, okay? So mm, let me try, right? For example, in T, okay, I know this, if it's a number uh, uh, base 10, that will, that will be the 101, right? But it's a number system uh, base 2, that will be 5. Wow. So you see, uh, but you can also do this. Use the literal, uh, start with a 0B, and you don't need to tell your computer system, which binary system, because uh, these two words, uh, two letters, already indicate you are going to uh, uh, represent the information, which is binary, okay? So you can just simply do this, okay? Letter X, mm, yeah, letter 257. So this is how you can use in the, uh, this uh, three function hex, okay, hex, and bin, and integer, kind of convert <coughs> uh, back and forth in the integer, that's a decimal, or the binary, uh, and the hexadecimal number system, okay? I've been talking a lot. It's time for you to practice on your own, okay? Bye-bye.